What is algebra? Algebra is a system that allows us to use shorthand for long verbal explanations. For example, let's say we've got a trapezoid, a trapezium. In America it would be a trapezoid. It's a shape with two parallel sides and a particular height. The lengths of the parallel sides are A and B and the height is H. Now, if I'm going to explain in words how to find the area of this trapezium, I'd be saying it's half the sum of the lengths of the parallel sides multiplied by the height. Using algebra, I can say A is equal to half of A plus B times H. You'll be familiar with all sorts of formulas. Area of a circle, pi r squared. Perimeter of a circle, 2 pi r. Volume of a cylinder, um, pi r squared h. And all we've done is we've used letters to represent quantities. This letter a is representing the, the length of the shorter of the two parallel sides. And this letter b is representing the length of the longer side and h is representing the height. It's really important that the, the letters that we use in algebra are representing quantities. They're not labels. They don't tell us, oh, A is, is the shorter side or B is the longer side. It is the length of the shorter side, the length of the longer side. One that's gone out of fashion a little bit, but if I was to use an example of feet and yards, if I said three feet is equal to one yard. I would end up with a formula that says y equals three times f. Wrong. If I've got 12 feet, I certainly don't have 36 yards. What we should be saying is that the number of feet is equal to three times the number of yards. And the interesting thing in algebra too, we're always looking for shortcuts. We don't, if we put a 3 and a y together, we don't have to put the multiplication sign in. So f for feet, which is a label, not representing a number of feet, uh, using it as a label will give us the wrong formula. And what we say is, let f be the number of feet that we're interested in and let y be the number of yards we're interested in and we know that the formula is feet, the number of feet is equal to three times the number of yards. So labels are a no-no. These letters that we use to represent quantities have got various names. They can simply be letters or we can call them uh, pronumerals or we can call them a uh, variable. Pronumerals is, is probably the most common uh, name for the letters that we use in algebra. Another important feature of algebra is that it can be used to explain relationships. And it can be used to explain unknown relationships. For example, my son Andrew, if we let A equal Andrew's age, And my name's Rick, so we'll let R equal Rick's age. Okay, now it's not a label, it's not A for Andrew. The A is a number that represents Andrew's age. And we know that Andrew's age and my age add to 114. So A plus R is equal to 114. And we know that I am 26 years older than my son. So Rick is equal to A plus 26. Now we can use this information to find either Andrew's age or my age. What we've done is we've, we've let A equal to a particular quantity and we've let R equal to a particular quantity. And we've used algebraic equations to express the relationships between these quantities. Andrew's age plus my age adds to 114. 
I am 26 years older than my son and we can use this information to find either my age or Andrew's age. Now, I don't need to uh, tell you my age, but let's work out Andrew's age. So instead of R here, I'm going to put in the value A plus 26. So Andrew's age plus A plus 26 is equal to 114. Now, some rules of algebra. A and A, they're called like terms. We've got some hidden ones here. A means 1A, and A means 1A. So we, when we add 1A to 1A, we get 2As. 2 times A plus 26 is equal to 114. So what I'm saying is, what number plus 26 is 114? So clearly, to find that, we're going to subtract 26 from 114. So what we're doing is this. 26 minus 26 is 0. Whatever you do to one side of an algebraic equation, you have to do to the other side, because that maintains the integrity of, of the equal sign. So 2 times Andrew's age is equal to uh, 6 from 14 is 8, 3 for 11 is 8, 2 times Andrew's age is 88, Divide both sides by 2, and clearly Andrew's age is 44. Okay? So what we've done is we've used pronumerals to represent quantities. A for Andrew's age, R for Rick's age. Then, instead of using a verbal expression like my age plus Andrew's age is equal to 114 years, we've said A plus R is 114. And then instead of the verbal expression that I am 26 years older than my son, we've used the expression R, Rick's age, is 26 years more than Andrew's age. And then we've done a sneaky little trick called substitution. Instead of R, we've replaced it with this quantity, A plus 26. A plus A is the same as 2A, plus 26 is 114. So 2A must have been 88, so A must have been 44. There's lots of fabulous relationship style problems that are made much easier by using algebra. And in the early days, when I first learned algebra, my year 7 teacher used to make me write let A equals Andrew's age and let R equal Rick's age. Well, having moved on a little bit since those days, I've taken lots of shortcuts. But it's really critical that you understand that this is a number. It's a quantity. It's not a label. All right? We'll try some more in another clip.